It's you. It's all right, Jack's got out in the tractor. Well, it could have been someone else. Like who? I don't know. Forget it. Give us that. I've got you this. It's got milk in it, and just in case you get cold. Yes. Your mum's really worried about you. I'd like to change. Don't you care? I'm so fault that I'm here raising my dad, so don't expect me to be bothered. Sorry. I thought you should know. It's no good, Angie. There's nothing else. That stuff on the computer was all there is. Golden rule of police work. You might miss something the first time or the second, so you just keep looking. We've turned it upside down, love. I've got to do something. I know. She likes to think she's so grown up, but the thoughts are all alone in London. Frights me to death. We don't know she's there for certain. I know a lot are looking for her, but it's not good enough. I'm going to go into Hotton today, ask around the cafes and the shops. Somebody might have seen her. Come here. We'll find her. How does Joseph seem to you? Fine. Why? I'm worried he's missing Claudia. He was very fond of her. Him and me get on great. I can do stuff with him. I'll have a laugh. Frankie, I hate to interrupt your cosy little chat, but are you taking Joseph to school this morning or aiming for lunchtime? That's a good idea, Joseph. We could forget about school this morning, go to the playground instead. Don't even think about it. Your daddy's got no sense of humour, has he? Come on, let's go and brush your teeth. You asked her to do it. Give us an hand, will you, Adam? This is breaking me arm. What on earth have you got in there? We're only going for one night. Well, you've got to be prepared, didn't you? Dip, dip and all that. <laughs> oh, you haven't packed your heated rollers, have you? If it makes you happy, you can bring whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Well, if we're all ready, I suggest we get on our way. See you tomorrow. Bye, sweetheart. Yeah. Oh, don't worry about the pub, it's in safe hands. Oh, thanks, Mum. Um, Enjoy yourselves, you lot. Oh, we will. <laughs> Cheerio, everybody. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Hey, that gives you plenty of leeway. <laughs> I've got a heavy leave forecast. Snow for where you're going. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not my idea of a romantic venue, Bet the middle of a field. No, me neither. Manchu doesn't seem to bother our Bernice where she lays her head these days, as long as it's next to Ashley. Ah, well, yeah, she does seem very fond of him. She is. She didn't get that smile on her face by accident, you know. Are we talking uh, romance department here? Put it this way, Bet. If I was your father was an Olympic event, Ashley had entered the marathon. Oh. <gasps> Oh. Hello, Sam, love. What are you doing here? I thought you'd be gone by now. I needed to do a bit of thinking. Broke into an empty cottage off the Robblesfield Road. Weren't much, but it kept the rain out. Can't stop there for long. I know. I've decided to go back to Ireland. Not for me round here anymore. I thought he said there were not for you there, neither. I'm going to make a fresh start. Hey, why don't you come with me? Straight up? Yeah, you could make some to yourself over there, son. You reckon? Hey, I tell you what. I'm off to a graveyard, say goodbye to our butch. But come with me. We'll have a natural aren't we? Aye. OK. Uh, you, you can cope with that, Diane, for 24 hours. Uh, your needs are greater than ours, Alan. <laughs> it would make my life a lot easier and uh, a lot more fun, too. But I just thought I'd check. Um, before you go, Alan, um, I've got a bit of a dilemma. Hello. I, uh, had a letter from Elsa this morning. She and Brett have invited me to go and stay, but I've always said I wouldn't go until Alice was properly settled. And is she? Yeah, yeah, there was a... A note from her. She seems really happy. Well, then you go. You'll have a wonderful time. I'd love to go, but not while Tate trucks are still thundering through the village. Now, put yourself first for a change. You've done more than your fair share for the campaign. What have I achieved? A picture in the paper making me look a complete idiot? But you have managed to put your case across. People forget the arguments when they see pictures like that, Alan. Are you trying to talk yourself out of going? 
I want to go, but... Go, Cathy, or you'll regret it. And as far as the campaign goes, there's nothing we can do until the Transport Subcommittee meets next week. Mm. Chaired by Chris's friend, Councillor Eccleston. I wonder what he'll recommend. Well, there are other people on the committee. We shall just have to rely on the democratic process. Chris doesn't play by the rules, so why should we? I can't change times at this stage. No, I heard you the first time. The answer's still no. Sean, I think we're asking too much of you. I expect you to do these interviews in the circumstances. I've come here to take my mind off what's happening at home. I'm not saying you shouldn't come into work, but why don't I ask Laura to do the interviews? It's one less thing for you to worry about. It makes sense. OK. But I don't expect an easy ride. You know me better than that. That's... It's not being able to do anything. Feeling so helpless. I know just how that feels. I suppose I could tell the drivers Ollie's gone missing. That way they could keep an eye open for her. I've already done it. I hope you don't mind. No. Thanks. Now, I've drawn up a rota for cooking, washing up and getting water, OK? What about dealing with hypothermia? It's all part of the fun, Trish, dealing with the elements. Now, there's still jobs to be done. When Benice is feeling assertive, it's best to lie back and let her get on with it. Don't be so saucy, you. Whatever, I'll, uh, I'll go with the flow. I thought you were on a break from organising everything. Why, are you volunteering then, Trish? No, I am freezing. Well, it's a force of habit being organised. It's how I cope with the vicissitudes of licensed bitchling. I save spontaneity for my private life. Am I a mere whim? There's nothing mere about you. Right, you can let go now, Tricia. Oh, you're putting us to shame. Come on, Ash, our tent won't erect itself. I once went camping with my mates from school. Shelley Travers put some candy floss in my sleeping bag. What did you do? Oh, scratched her eyes out, then I went home. <laughs> you did loads when you were working in Africa, didn't you? Yeah, I suppose so. It's a lot warmer out there. <sighs> and dry. I would have been scared stiff of all them wild animals running about. <laughs> You'd have been all right, snuggled up next to me. Oh, well, yeah. That would have been a bit different. <laughs> I thought you'd gone, Mrs Dingle. I'm on my way. I, I like to keep Butch's grave looking tidy. Looks dead nice. It won't be right till he's got a proper headstone. It costs a lot of money. I know. But I want him to have one. I want everyone to see his name. And remember what a lovely man he was. Don't cry. I'm sorry. I don't know who I can turn to. You'll sort some it out. What will you do? Your mum's right. I'll think of something. Being daft, getting upset. I could help you if I was staying. What do you mean, if you were staying? He's coming to Ireland with me, aren't you, son? I'm going to get a job. Make some money. That's nice. Yeah. We best be gone. Ta-da, Butch, love. God bless. Bye, Emily. Bye. Good luck. Come on, son. Can't. Don't talk so soft. I, I want to help Emily. C can I help you if I stay? Of course you can. Don't you want to go with your mum? I, I want to stop here, Ma. What am I supposed to do? I'm sorry, Mum. Let's be on my way then. Will you be all right? Of course I will. I'm a dingle.
We need to go look at the cottage, Sarah. It's only in Robblesfield. It won't take us long. Yeah, but what if somebody sees us and tells Jack? He's going to find out about us soon anyway, isn't he? Yeah, but I want to be the one that tells him. I mean it, Richie. Mummy! <laughs> Victoria's got some very good news. I'm going to be the Mayor Queen at the Mayor Fair. Whoa! That's wonderful! Well done, sweetheart. I think she'll look great. Well, of course you will. You will be the star of the show. <laughs> Didn't know you were living with a special little lady, eh, Richie? And Victoria Sugden's going to be queen. Oh, you look lovely together. I thought I'd go and see Jack and Sarah talk about their outfits. Well, on your head, be it. I think you've earned a drink and a biscuit, Your Majesty. I'll get it for him. Come on. How much you fancy going out tonight? I can't. We've not been out for ages. We could go clubbing. Adam's away and I'm on call at the vets. You have to go on your own. All right, I will. When I ran away, I just kept thinking about myself. It wasn't until I got back home when I realised what I'd done to my mum and dad. If you're going to lecture me, you can go. They were worried about me. Didn't know what had happened to me. I couldn't let them go through that again. You think they're so special? Yeah, they have adopted me. No, it doesn't mean you can trust them, Andy. Why not? You just can't trust any grown-ups. You were talking about mum and dad. Forget it, I shouldn't have opened my big mouth. You know something, don't you? Ollie. You don't want to know. I do. Well, they've let you down, but all parents let you down. It's just the way it is. How have they let me down? Just leave it, Andy, please. I'm not going till you tell me. Well, you're going to be waiting a long time, then. I could just tell them that you're here. You're going to hate me for this. I won't. Sarah and Richie are having it off. We're going to run away together. You like it lost. I heard him talking about it and I've seen him snogging. So now you know, are you glad I told you? Sarah, we'll lose it. I can't. Especially now when there's the Mayfair to think about. Look, tomorrow, yeah? We'll go tomorrow. Andy, I, I didn't hear you come in. I'll I'll be off then. Yeah. Hey, you got a visitor. Hiya, Sarah. Hi, Kathy. I've heard the good news about Victoria. I wondered if you'd like me to help make a dress, unless you've got other plans. Oh no, I'd really appreciate it. I don't know where I'd find the time. I've got a wedding dress at home gathering dust. I can use that. You sure? I'll get that, will you, son? If Alice had still been here, I would have used it to have made something for her. Well, that's great. Thanks. Just go stay. What do you want? Well, I wanted to talk to you about the Mayfair and what Joseph and Victoria are going to wear. You want to dress your lad in something grand, do you? Put us to shame. It's their day, Jack. I want them to enjoy it just as much as you do. Can't we just forget our differences for once? For their sake? He's right, Jack. I'm going to help with Victoria's dress. I could make something for Joseph as well, so they match. You? Why not? Because I didn't think you wanted anything to do with me at the moment. I'll do it for Joseph. It changes nothing as far as you and me are concerned. How did you cope without me, Chuck? We've managed. But when you've gone, a little light goes out of my life. Listen to him, Alan. Smooth-talking devil. Must be his Spanish blood. Definitely. He reminds me of a pool attendant I met in Benidorm. Oh, do I want to wear this? He was called Miguel. Did flamenco dancing in his spare time. His trousers were that tight, it's a wonder he could stand up. That a, it's a meeting of minds, was it, now? Hardly. Didn't understand a word he said. Not that it mattered. We should learn the language. It's not that difficult. Hey, you didn't see me at school in Latin lessons. I never got past a more massa mat. Me llamo Carlos, tu profesor. To go all wobbly. I think Carlos was offering to teach you. Well, at least then you'll know when you're being chatted up. You're on. <laughs> that was delicious. Yeah, why don't we all go down the pub? It's not far. Oh, you two can go. But me and Ash are on washing up duty, aren't we? Oh, quite happy out here. Could open another bottle of wine and once the stars come out. 
I think the pub would be a lot warmer and a lot drier than out here. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll look after you. Mm, a bit of a romantic, are you, Adam? Well, under the right circumstances. Like now. Oh, I've never really understood romance, not really. Give over, I've seen all them books you read. What, when some lord called Henry sweeps you in his arms and caresses your lips with his eager mouth? That's very good, Tricia. Oh. <laughs> Don't tell me you read them, Ashley. Come on, Ash. There's nothing worse than congealed gravy. Sam and I have been talking. We'd like to put up some kind of plaque in memory of Butch and the others who died in the crash. Only we've got no money. So, we were wondering if you could help us raise it, if you don't mind. No, of course I don't mind. I'd be happy to help. I didn't realise Bernice and Ashley were quite so keen on outdoor activities. Well, from what I've heard, they both prefer the indoor variety. Really? Ashley is insatiable, apparently. Oh, it's not right in behaving like this. He should be setting an example being a vicar. He's a fella and all. He has needs. He's not the only one. No, he isn't. I'm ready for bed. Last orders, please, ladies and gentlemen. Already? It's not time yet. Yes, it is. I think we deserve an early night. I thought, as Bernice is away, you and I could get to know one another more intimately. You know, I've always found you a very attractive man. No, 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 the feeling is mutual. Oh, why? Yeah, well, I've always had a bit of a yen for Marilyn Monroe, and uh, you put me in mind of her. Why is that? Is it my vivacious personality or my raw sex appeal? It's your hair, mainly. My hair? It's the words of her most famous film, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. A bit warmer. A bit? You can always zip the sleeping bags together. Just thought you might like a little cognac. Good idea. Get yourself sat down. You're sure you're not too tired? <laughs> no, I could go on all night, me. Cheers. Cheers. I tell you what, Alan, why don't you turn the big light out? Be more cosy then. Um, right. Anything you say, my dear. Be gentle with me, Alan. I'm out of practice. I shall treat you like the delicate flower that you are. Uh. Alan! Oh. What's the matter? Oh. Alan! Oh, my God! Oh. Oh. Do, you, do you think she'll mind me staying over? No, of course not. She's sound these days, do eh? Yeah, do you want one of these? Ah, go on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm not saying it with love and all like that, but but we were getting on great. And then he came over all like Jekyll and Hyde. <laughs> That's only because I was looking at this guy behind the bar. Forget about him, let's get bladdered. Oh. <laughs> 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 I didn't realise we were having a party. You know uh, Paddy's cousin, Jason? My, my boyfriend's chucked me out. Well, well my ex-boyfriend. If you're going to come in late, could you try and do it without waking me up just once? Sorry. You, you don't mind me kipping over, do you? Well, you're here now, aren't you? So you might as well stay. <laughs> Can you see yourself out? Heartburn. Must have been that chilli you had for tea. I feel rather foolish. Well, with your medical history, it's as well not to take any chances. It all the same, the evening wasn't supposed to end like this, was it? I'm sorry. Oh, well. 
To quote one of your Marilyn's films, nobody's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, some like it hot. But not your digestive system. Mm. Good night. Right, there you go. I've checked the tent from top to bottom. There are no more creepy crawlies in here. Oh, we <clears> must have become such a wimp. No, Tricia. I think you're lovely. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's a bit different from the last time we ran the canvas together. <laughs> And you had to rescue me from a soggy tent. Mm. <laughs> and you were lying next to me saying wicked things. Not wicked. Inappropriate. Heartfelt. Unwelcome. Forgiven. There mm, you are. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I was just thinking, you've forgiven me for something you never even heard. Well, perhaps you better tell me. Then I can see if I made the right decision. I was saying how much I wanted you. I've heard it all since, a hundred times. Oh, feel free to say it again. I used to imagine what it would be like if you and I were together. In my mind, I'd uh, run my fingers through your hair. Mm. Kiss you gently on the lips. Put my arms around you. I'd hold you tight. They were wonderful thoughts. But now that we are together, it's beyond my wildest imaginings. You're the most beautiful, desirable woman I've ever met. I didn't know it was possible to be so happy. Oh, my gosh. Oh.